right, so <laughs> the other day when I reported on the toilet paper shortage, and there still is one. I was in Walmart the other day picking up some distilled water, and uh, which we had been run out of for a couple of days. Um, there was no toilet paper, and still just um, paper towels. But it it made me think of this. Um, I didn't tell y'all about this when I first did the video, but I'm telling you now. So, you know, I always heard um, that other, you know, countries hate Americans and, or hate America and stuff like that. And, you know, coming up and um, it's uh, it's something that I never experienced until I got on YouTube. You get on YouTube, you experience every form of hatred that there is out there. And the thing that happened to me was, um, I'm sorry, lost my train of thought. Anyway, so after the video, you know, I checked my comments of what y'all talking about. And I always ban people looking to start fights. Always. You know, sometimes... I, I like to see the discussions you guys have, but some of y'all, I can tell out of the blue, someone will say something and I'm like, okay, they're definitely looking to antagonize people and start shit. So I ban them. You know what I mean? And, um, I, uh, noticed that there were people coming in saying that, oh, what, what the fuck is wrong with you Americans? Uh, buy a fucking bidet or I haven't used toilet paper since the 80s, because I have a bidet in my house. You dirty fucking Americans need to learn to use bidets. Um, you dirty Americans, I can smell your shit from here. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, there was a substantial amount. It was enough to where I noticed. It wasn't just one or two. It was maybe five or six comments collectively that I ran into. Now, in the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot. But it's enough on the one thing for me. Because, you know, if there's one person, there's usually more that think like that. But they don't they don't post. You see what I'm saying? So, all you guys watching the video that made those comments, you're all banned right now. But the point is this. I've never understood that. Like, I never understood the whole, um, we're better than you mentality with countries. I've never been like that as an American, you know. Uh, oh, we're better than them. Oh, we're, I, I never, because I've noticed that even though I haven't traveled much, every country seems to have their strengths and their weaknesses. Uh, some, some countries are very similar in one area. It's like, wow, this is really cool. They had this one thing. You know, that's, uh, you know, these certain values that go through certain countries and some don't. Some is like, oh, man, they do this. They do that to their people or their people do this or they think that way. And um, America is not faultless and neither are the other countries out there. And you choose toilet paper to say that you're better than us. <laughs> I'm just like, yo, like the pettiness the stupidity that that people have up here. You know what I mean? You think just because you spray your ass, you're cleaner? I mean, there is something called baby wipes over here. Okay, people use the toilet paper first. And then they finish it up with the baby wipes. Which are saturated with clean liquids like aloe and water and certain enzymes and stuff like that they get it really nice and clean and actually if you're really good with toilet paper your ass will be immaculate you just it's technique it's technique it's not the tool it's technique there's people out there that can paint a masterpiece with their nose okay their nose has the brush they they make dots with their nose and they can make a masterpiece. Okay? All right, so stop with the pettiness. I forgot to tell this little stupid story because y'all like hearing stories from me. This is the stupidity that I deal with on a daily basis on YouTube. Okay? And uh, they'll probably never stop because stupid people are born every day. You know what I mean? And some of them wise up, some of them don't. You know, sometimes young fools turn into old fools. This is just how life is. Boy, oh 
Oh boy. All right, y'all. That ends my story for you dirty Americans not using toilet paper. <laughs>